Welcome to the last part of the tutorial. We are designing a curvy in Photoshop. We will continue from the last step. We have filled the area with the black color. Now I will duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl J. You can see. Now next step is we will fill up the area with blue color now. So we will change its hue and saturation. So to do that we will go to image adjustments we will go to image adjustments hue and saturation we will check the colorize and I will keep these settings hue to 211 lightness to plus 48 and saturation to 83 I will decrease the lightness to 41. Click OK once you are done. So here it is. Now I will transform it a bit by holding my shift key. And now I will adjust this. Basically we did a stroke to our blue eye. You can see the black sto stroke against the blue color. Now we will erase the upper part of the eye. So I will select the erase tool from the tool palette. And with a soft brush. These are the soft brushes. I will pick the soft brush and I will increase the diameter to 300 plus points or 277. And I will now click once. Again I will click and again I will just click three times and I will reduce the upper portion eliminating the upper blue area and setting its color black I will again select the elliptical marquee tool and I will now draw the eyeball here so here it is now we will create a new layer I will select the paint bucket tool and I will pick the white color. I will fill the selection with white color. So here it is. Now I will apply the stroke to my this layer. So I will just go to layer, layer styles and stroke. I will keep the stroke size to 1. And I will change the stroke color to some light blue or to this one. A lime blue click OK once you're done so here it is we are done with the eye so now we will merge all the layer related to eyes so that it can become just one layer now we will duplicate this layer by control by pressing control J I will move it out over there I will resize it, I will rotate this to best fit to my design. You can get the free transformation by pressing Ctrl T. Also now this one, I will resize it. I will move it to give it a perfect look and to best fit to my canvas and to properly adjust with my design. Now we will create some cheeks over there, some cheeks effect. So I will select this area using marquee tool. I will create a new layer. I will pick the color to dark pink. I will fill the color. And now I will rotate this a bit using Ctrl T and getting free transformation. So here it is. I will now 
again go to filter menu blur and gaussian blur to render this so we will go to filter menu blur and gaussian blur I will decrease the radius to let's say 4 pixels I will decrease the radius to 4 pixels click OK once you are done also I will duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl J and I will drag this layer to the right side to the right cheek of my curvy Now we will select the polygon lesser tool and we are going to draw a mouth of our Kirby. I will zoom in a bit to get a better design. And I will just creating, I am now creating the mouse of my Kirby. I just zoom in of one reason cause if you got a little bit wrong at your design while you are zooming in so when you got to zoom out the design will look quite clear so here it is we are have selected the area now we will create a new layer and we will rename the layer to mouth now I will select the paint bucket tool from the tool palette I will pick the color to reddish maroon now now, oh, now now I now fill the area with maroon color again I will select the elliptical marker tool and draw a circle a small circle over there you are actually creating a tongue I will now fill this color with light pink or with some dark color you can choose any color you want the tongue to be I will pick the pink color and I will fill this area with this so we are almost done now we will apply the inner grow to this layer so I will just go to layer styles from layer menu so we'll go to layer menu layer styles and from here in the blending options I will select on inner shadow I will increase the opacity 96% and I will adjust the distance, choke and size of my mouth layer I will keep distance to 4, choke to 8 and size to 7, angle to 90, click OK to apply so here we are, we are done with our design I hope you have enjoyed this simple tutorial and before we end, we will just adjust to give a proper look you can be creative of your own choice just use your creativity to design whatever you want it's really quite simple I will see you in the next tutorial soon on the fine tutor till that just keep visiting www.finetutor.com for photoshop tutorials on the internet